Hi, David Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Schools with another uh, edition of Three Great Things. I want to start off by um, uh, talking a little bit about Mr. Early at Calderon High School. Mr. Early provided a virtual woodworking lesson for students. And uh, woodworking is, is my hobby. It's the thing I'm, uh, I, I do at home as a, kind of a stress reliever, uh, something I really enjoy. So it was kind of near and dear to me to see this, this lesson. And it was about um, using how to use certain woodworking tools, uh, finishing wood, etc. And he used some of the staff at Kettle Run to demonstrate. And I thought that was a really unique way to um, provide a, a meaningful and authentic way for students to show what they can do. And that, that applies not only to virtual instruction, but face-to-face -face instruction. Assessment of learning should include an opportunity for students to show you precisely what it is that they are able to do and what they learn. And you often can't get that on a, on a home school choice test, for example. Uh, so kudos to, to Mr. Early. Uh, also wanted to share a um, great thing um, during uh, today's uh, governor's school meeting, um, Dr. Williamson announced her retirement. That is not a great thing. That's a very bad thing. She'll be retiring in December. Um, and that will be a huge loss for the governor's school. She's really built that governor's school. She was the first leader, uh, first administrator for the governor's school, Mount Vista governor's school, and uh, she'll be, she will be greatly missed. But the great thing is uh, something I mentioned during comments today from superintendents. You know, we, we, we started this um, really in-depthful conversation a few years back in the governor's school about diversity and the lack of diversity uh, within the governor's school. And, and frankly, three and four years ago, there, there was no diversity in, in the governor's school. And um, the, the, I think there's a lot, there's lots of different reasons for that. That could be a whole different uh, episode, but um, suffice to say that Dr. Williamson really latched on to that as an area that we needed to improve. And over the last few years, there's been a substantial increase in the number of students of color, for example, uh, who are now part of the governor's school. And so thanks very much for that because that is no easy task. And we, we the governor's school really started that conversation and made it part of their, of their uh, comprehensive plan prior to recent direction from the state about doing, doing the same. We, we, that conversation began for us, I think it was about three years ago. Um, the last one, the last great thing is, is kind of a weird one. Um, I had a tough, a tough uh, school board meeting this past Monday, and um, it was, uh, it was uh, very emotional, and uh, um, it was a tough meeting. But here's the great thing. What it demonstrated to me once again, and something I've always appreciated about Buckyard County Public Schools, our parents are, um, are so in tune to the needs of their own children. They are so concerned and interested in the education that their kids are receiving. And it was demonstrated uh, in part, it demonstrated Monday night. I wasn't necessarily comfortable and it wasn't easy. Some of the things, uh, it wasn't easy to hear some of the things that were shared, but one of the takeaways for me was folks in this county really care about their kids and they want what's best for their kids. We don't always necessarily agree uh, what those things are, um, and, and that, that goes for parents not agreeing with other parents and, 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 and so forth. But the, the passion is there, and uh, I appreciate that. So hope everyone has a great rest of the week, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks.